Hi, thanks for joining me and thank you for watching Global Bakes videos. Today we're going to make stained glass pears, which is a completely edible and beautiful decoration. You're going to start out with making a simple syrup. This is just two cups of water and two cups of granulated sugar. You can make more or less of this depending on how many pears you need to do, whether your project is large or small. While your simple syrup is cooking up, you can go ahead and start slicing your pears. And I prefer to use a knife. I've tried using a mandolin and I don't seem to get the slices that I really like. So I use a good sharp knife and then I use a kind of a seesaw motion going back and forth to get a really good thin slice. You can see how thin this slice is. You can see my fingers right through the pear, which is exactly what you want. And even if you get some slices that aren't exactly perfect, go ahead and, and boil those up as well because they really add a lot of character to your decoration. So now our sugar has dissolved, our simple syrup has been simmering away on the stove, we're going to add our pears directly in. If you're not going to cook these pears right away after slicing, I recommend soaking them in a little bit of water with lemon juice. But I went straight into this syrup and I'm going to simmer them for about six to eight minutes until they're semi-transparent. You want them to still hold their shape, but you do want to be able to see through them a bit. You can see how the Bartlett pears really hold their shape. Any other kind of pear I've found um, gets a little bit too mushy for this process, so I recommend Bartlett's. Go ahead and get as much of that simple syrup off as you can. You can see how nice and thin this, this pear is, but I want to get all the simple syrup off to make sure that it's going to dry out as quickly as possible in the oven. Go ahead and take some of your simple syrup, pour some into some bowls, and we're going to mix up the colors. Now you can use any colors you'd like to. For some reason, blue and green together are kind of my go-to. Seems to be the color combination that I, that I like the most. Um, but you can choose to use any colors that you like. I do recommend gel food colorings because they are highly concentrated and you don't need as much. They really do soak into the pears as well too. So I put a little bit of the food coloring on my toothpick, brush it off with my paintbrush, and then just mix it into that simple syrup. I'm also using a little bit of red here just to give you a little bit of variation, but again, choose any colors that you like or that go along with your specific project or holiday. Now just start using your paintbrush and brush on some of that colored simple syrup on whatever part of the pear you want to color. I like to make these really varied so that each pear looks individual and looks kind of like its own little piece of art. You can choose to make each pear two colors, three colors, you can do them all one color if you'd like, whatever fits your own personal style. Now once I've painted each of the pears, I'm going to go ahead and blot off most of the simple syrup. You'll see the color stays, but I'm drying these pears out just a little bit by blotting. And then turn them over and we're going to repaint them with the same colors that you used on the front side. Go ahead and do that with all of your pears and you can see here I had some Anjou pears on hand I tried using them for this decoration and they really get too mushy so make sure you stick with Bartlett's for this technique once you've finished all of your pears painted everything on the tray go ahead and blot everything off and then you're going to bake these at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes for the first bake after 20 minutes I take them out and I will flip each one over and also give them a coat on both sides with some simple syrup. This is just the clear simple syrup directly from the pan. This is gonna help give your stained glass pears a really nice translucent and sparkly feel. You can choose to not use extra simple syrup if you want your pears to dry more quickly, but then you do have to really watch for browning. After coating them again and flipping them, I'm going to bake them for another 10 minutes at 300 degrees. And I'm going to continue this process until I get them where I want them. Depending on the thickness of your slices, it might take you more or less time. But for this batch of pears, it took me the initial 20 minute bake and then I 
turned them and coated them every 10 minutes um, three different times. So a total of 50 minutes for these pairs. You can see the pairs at this point are still a little bit bendable and pliable. I can shape them into different shapes. So if you want to shape them, say, around the side of a cake or in any specific type of a bend, go ahead and do it now before they dry. I'm going to dry these for at least an hour. Sometimes I do overnight as long as it's not too humid. And then I like to give my pairs some pop and I'll use some metallic glitter, um, edible of course, to go around the outside. I'm just going to paint each one of the pairs. Use a little bit of vodka. You can use water if you'd like, but I prefer to use vodka because it dries much quicker. Just mix it up using as much vodka as you need to get a good spreadable consistency. And then take your pears and just paint right along the edges. I really like to get any of the nicks and crannies too um, that kind of show up, make each pear look individual. If you have some of those pears that were not cut perfectly. This is a great time to kind of highlight those differences in the shapes. Sometimes you get little frilly edges or you get a little um, extra texture there at the bottom and it just looks so pretty to highlight it with a little bit of gold. You can see on this pair and several of the others, there are pieces of skin that maybe weren't attached. There's some wrinkles around the edges where they're, it kind of curled up when it was baking. And I just think that makes each pair looks individual and unique. Thank you so much for watching Global Bakes as I made my stained glass pears. These are the pears I made on the Great American Baking Show, and I'm so glad to share them with you. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and hit that bell button so that you're notified every time I up upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.